Do you get nervous now? Are you second guessing yourself? Are you uh, are you too hard on yourself? Do you get anxiety? What is it? Well, you know what's interesting, and you're I think because I've I've, you know watched your podcast and listened to it a lot, so I you've talked about this type of thing always. Yeah, and the thing is, dude, in this career. You better accept that sometimes you're going to be the bell of the ball. You're going to be so important. You're so important. You're yeah, the lead yeah. of the blah, 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 whatever. And then the next week, you can be nobody. I mean, maybe not next week, but like you alternate from being someone to no one. So you eventually so got to go. It doesn't, it doesn't fucking matter. Who cares? Who doesn't cares? Matter. Who fucking cares? I get uncomfortable when, when people, oh, walk the red carpet. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. I, you know what? That's funny you said that. I uh, I remember my my manager, and I was never good at this, go, I want you to go to the Golden Globes. You need to be seen. I go, I don't have a project there. I don't want to go somewhere where I don't belong. No, a lot of actors go, I go, I am not that guy. I went to one Golden Globes, and I just felt weird. Took my friend. It just I always feel like nobody knows me. Who am I? What am I doing here? I don't belong. So I don't. I never did a lot of that, and it, yeah. it might have hurt me. He might have been right. Well, I need to do that, but a lot of people can do that. I, I'm not great at it. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Your manager's totally right. Uh huh. He's totally right. But but you're the guy. Again, there was there was an episode of 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 this where I was just I I I was so happy you were talking about this. Because you were breaking open what the reality is, not the, your manager at that time, if he had learned that Michael Rosenbaum was going to say on a podcast, like, well, yeah, no, no, you're a big deal and you're the lead and then you're done and get to the back of the line. Yeah. That's not what you say if you're trying to sell the idea of like, this guy's a huge actor. He's the next big thing. Oh, he's really important. Yeah. You never, ever show that, you know, because that would be like showing weakness or vulnerability. Like, no, it's not a, vulnerability. That's what it is. And so you're encouraged to act like you're this big, important thing. But here's, here's my argument. By being honest, that's a different thing. And that is really appealing, I think, to be completely honest about what this business is. So I have a friend. I was tired of lying on myself Dude. for so many years. I just felt like, you know, I feel better. Just this is who I am. This is what I dealt with. This is, you know, hire me because I'm. you think I'm talented and I'm, and I'm, and I'm easy to work with. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, but go ahead. Yeah, but no, but that's the thing, man. Like, like there are people out there who that message is going to be far more useful to them Especially than the message now. of i think people dude. are opening up to to mental health and all that stuff and exactly. like hey we're human yeah yeah you know something uh that that you're okay when i was finally after juilliard after i got kicked out i had to make a decision whether i was going to pursue acting or not i'm like okay now i actually have to decide and i remember writing on AOL because the internet was brand new. This is like 2000 or something like that. I wrote on uh, AOL uh, an actor named uh, Bruce Campbell. Do you know him? Uh, yeah, you know him? he's right behind you. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. So, so I wrote Bruce Campbell. Wrote, Bruce Campbell wrote back. And the question was, how do you decide to be an actor? And, and he wrote back some of the most amazing advice. You still have it to this day? No, no, I don't, unfortunately. Faster. But I remember what he wrote. He right. wrote, well, he's like a couple things. One, you make the decision and then you don't look back. I'm like, that's interesting. So he's saying, make a commitment, right? But then he said also, he's like, you know, and also don't expect that when you get the job that you're gonna be magically happy. Take the tools you have right now and make yourself as happy as you can be. And I thought that was such a realistic yeah. human way of thinking about this stuff. Yeah, you know, it's funny. I had a conversation with Bruce not that long ago. We were smoking grass and riding bikes and he says, well, this is my third act. And I go, what? He goes, it's the final act it's the final. in his life. Because he's, you know, at that age, he's like, this is it. I got to do what I want to do. This is the, my last chance to do what I want to do. Live on my terms. You know, not I'm not doing this kind of shit anymore. I'm not doing that. This is, and we talked about that. And it's like, you know, there are three acts. And I think, you know, um, I'm in my second act. And it's like, you know, the third act's coming up and I want to sort of get a hold on, you know, what I really want. I'm spending so much time trying to figure it out what it is I really want. What do you want? 